Hello and welcome to Falcon Fever, your all-access pass to Montevallo sports. I'm Tiffany Westry. The university has much to be excited about as the fall sports season comes to a close and many of the teams have gone above and beyond expectations for the season. The men's soccer team grabbed the university's first ever NCAA regional championship title in men's soccer and advanced to the national quarterfinals after defeating the University of Tampa 6-5 in penalty kicks in Pensacola, Florida on November 11th. After the tournament, Melford James Jr. was named the regional tournament's most outstanding defensive player, while Milan Pualic was named the most outstanding offensive player. The Falcons are enjoying a record-breaking season with 12 consecutive victories and are 17-3-2 overall. Now let's go to Rachel DiCarlo, who is joined by a few special guests in the studio. Okay, after losing two games to West Florida, Describe how it was to finally defeat West Florida on their home turf. Uh, I mean, it was a great feeling. Um, you know, being here last year and losing to West Florida three times and coming back and losing twice, uh, we knew we had to change something and went into that regional game, which means a lot to every team that makes it to a tournament. And um, we defeated them, so it was a great feeling. Just after losing to them twice in the conference finals and in the regular season, it was just it was really heart-wrenching just to, on the long bus ride home, but when we got back, practice was normal, and everybody just played with a lot of heart and just we pulled it out. Everybody gave 100%, and we tried really hard on that game. In the first half, we had a couple of mistakes, and in the other half, we played harder and put our mistakes on minimum, and we won the game. Great feeling, Good. big success. Okay, so Saturday you faced Lee's McRae's College. This would be the first time you have ever faced this team. What ex expectations or what do you know about this team and how will you prepare for this match? Um, we're just going to go into it like we go into every single other game we have this year. You know, play with heart, um, play hard, and uh, try our hardest to come out with the victory. Don't really know much about Lee's McRae, but They've made it this far, so they've got to be good. We've got to come in, play our hardest, and come out with a victory. In this part of competition, every team is good. And that means that we are good, too. And uh, We don't need only to uh, think about them. They have to think about us. We have to win the game and go in top four. Okay. Thank you. Now back to Tiffany. The Falcons will travel to North Carolina to play Lee's McRae College in the NCAA Division II Men's Soccer Championship National Quarterfinal Match Saturday night. On the women's side, the Lady Falcons have recorded their fourth victory of the postseason after beating St. Leo 2-1 in double overtime November 11th during the NCAA Division II Women's Soccer Championship's second round. The Lady Falcons will advance to the South Region Championship match and will play the number one seed University of Tampa in Columbus, Georgia, Friday afternoon. Stacey Balin was named the 2007 Dactronic South Region Player of the Year, while Adele Jackson was named the to the team to the first team Dactronics All South Region team. Balin leads the nation in assists per game and is the school's all-time leader and single-season leader in assists. Let's go back to Rachel with more special guests. Thank you, Tiffany. The Lady Falcons are having an excellent postseason, and now this Friday you face the number one in the region, Tampa. How do you prepare to face a team like Tampa, and what expectations do you have? Well, we've just got to go out there with the, you know, the right mindset, and we've got to um, basically raise our game and go into the game like we have in every other game this season, and play with so much heart and passion, and just continue on and keep the dream alive. Um, Tampa is a great team, very athletic, good in the air, and I think if we just come out um, hard, fight hard, and come out with the victory, it would be awesome. Okay. Um, describe the Lady Falcons' most memorable game. It's going to be against um, West Florida because we beat them twice this year in the big stages of the season, and um, 
they're just such a talented side and to beat them was just unbelievable. Like the feeling was indescribable because of the quality that they show and it's just something that we haven't done in the past. So it's definitely the most memorable experience. I would agree with Stacey. Um, West Florida is a good side. Um, we're uh, missing a key player and we stepped up and came out with a W. Thank you. And now back to Tiffany with more on Falcon Fever. In other sports, the women's golf team had a great season. The team broke all school scoring records, including records for team and individual. They tied for second at the University of West Florida and placed third at the Lenore Ryan Myrtle Beach Classic. The team's overall low round is 322. Last week, they ranked 35th in the country and expected to be in the top 20 by the end of the year. The team's standout player is senior Morgan Bell. Bell's stroke average is 78.70 for the fall season. Bell earned medalist honors at the Ryan, Lenore Ryan Invitational, making a birdie on the first hole of a sudden death playoff. Right behind Bell is freshman Emily Gibson, whose stroke average is 81.60. Gibson was a top finisher at the first two tournaments for the women's team as well. On the men's side, the team finished sixth at the UNA Fall Invitational and finished eighth at the Delta State Tournament and the Indian Bayou Classic. Trip Cash was a top finisher for Montevallo at the Indian Bayou Classic and tied ninth with a score of 73. Coach Palmer says the team started out slow at the BSC Tournament, but the young team is starting to play better. The team's score is 294 this semester and says that their most consistent golfer this fall has probably been junior Danny Herbert. Montevallo's men and women's golf teams will host 12 men's and 12 women's golf teams at the Buffalo Wild Wings Classic in March. In basketball news, the Lady Falcons fell to Alabama A&M in an exhibition game on November 7th with a score of 81 to 62. Jennifer Hendricks led UM with 17 points, followed by Jamie Graham with 14 points. UM will begin the 2007 regular season this Friday, hosting the UM Coca-Cola Classic and will play Harding University Friday and Auburn Montgomery Saturday. Both Lady Falcon games start at 3 p.m. The Falcon men will also be in action as they host number nine ranked Augusta State Friday, number 22 ranked Henderson State Saturday, with both men's games beginning at 7.30 p.m. That's all for today's show. Be sure to tune in next week for more sports on Falcon Fever.